I was planning on burning off the calories, but the snowboarding video, let's not be over dramatic here, Oliver, it gives you the electrolytes and 10 synonyms for 24 hours was absolutely disgraceful. Yeah, that's no bueno. Good morning, my Cambodian streetwear merchant. All right, little different start to this morning because uh, I did go to the gym, but I chose not to film because one, the roads are really messy and two, because I need to clean up this space and I thought let's kill two birds with one stone with some things that I was going to talk about. Uh, first of all, yesterday was absolutely disgraceful. The switching out water with soda for 24 hours. Like, I know we could all agree that that was always going to be a terrible idea. But I just didn't realize how terrible I would feel. I had no idea that I would I would get to a like depressive state. Now my feet are too hot. Good good Judah. Um Yeah. So you know, but I th we I don't want to be too like this is what you do, but in a situation like that um, I think it takes, what am I trying to say? Does it take someone to, you know, okay. At the end of the video, I, realized that I needed to I needed I needed to get my head straight and just start doing something. I think my way of dealing with being stuck or like being in a bad state, which I never I never thought I ever was in a bad state. It's actually from talking through it. Side piece. <laughs> I this is really weird. Right that I talk about feelings and then put it online. Uh, I, I obviously talk about wife and whatnot about feelings, talk with wife about feelings, but uh, maybe, maybe not this in depth, right? And to me, it doesn't feel like I'm talking about my feelings and you're on the other side watching it and I'm talking to you about my feelings. It feels and I, I really hope I, I keep it this way. It feels like I'm thinking out loud. I don't know. I, I Sometimes I liken what happens in these pod vlogs to a video of someone who's, who's like distraught. They're crying. They can't believe something's just happened. And they turn on their camera and they start recording and they're still crying and whatnot. And I think, I, I think that's super weird. But is that really too much different to kind of sharing my thoughts here? Maybe, maybe it is. But I do, I do think this is weird. I think it is very strange to share everything you're thinking online to, for the most part, people you don't know and for them to make up an opinion or for let's say you to make up an opinion about me it is weird isn't it? it it is weird i think it's really weird but i have come to i think yesterday helped me realize that actually there's a, a part of me that is, I don't know if, I, I don't know if stress is the right, right word, but it's like, I'm thinking,
I think my life isn't organized enough. I think I need to organize my life better. I think I have all these things going. I have these things that I want to do. And because I'm now self-employed, like just look at the way I'm going around this room. Like wouldn't a normal person, isn't the right way to do this, to do like section by section instead of just kind of like bouncing around doing random bits. That's no bueno, is it? But I'm try I think I'm trying to chew off more th than I can actually deal with. Uh, what does that really mean? It means, like, I'm trying to make all of these TikToks. But they need to be perfect in my mind, otherwise they're failures. And I'm also trying to make these videos. And I'm trying to do different things for that. But I'm spreading myself so thin that even when I'm, I, I feel like I'm in one task, I have all these other things going on on my mind. One sec. And I just, I think the right term for it is overwhelmed by them. And I, I did have a really good realization this morning. And I think this came out of the, the snowboarding video that the hook could have been better. In fact, I'm kind of interested in just changing to a, a hook that I really do know that works and reposting for the, and for the um, education of it, right? For the testing purposes. But when I had a full-time job, this was all just fun. Like making videos, the goal was always to get to a place where I can do it full-time and generate enough revenue to have my family do the things that they want to do and that I want to do with them and do things that are fun. So I'm, I'm doing things that are fun, but I also have this mindset that if I'm gonna do something that's fun, it has to be a video. But it doesn't have to be a video, does it? I think I should be more, I, I can have these ideas for fun things to do, but I should be more selective about what makes it as a TikTok. I think I should just choose the very interesting topics. Like the, the snowboarding video, I'll tell you what, almost, if you've been watching from, I guess, the beginning, you'll know that there are some videos and series. I start off a series of TikToks that I both would like to try and that I think would be entertaining to someone else. But there, for a lot of them, actually, I get to a place of like, oh, I'm just kind of bored with doing this series now. I'm just like, I've done enough of it. Like the needle mat, for example, I did like five videos on season one of that and I got bored of it. But even, all of those videos were getting like two million plus views. And it makes sense to keep doing more videos, but I need to control myself that I need to not be driven by like the, su the success of them and be driven by Oliver, you should just do a video that you want to do. So like the snowboarding video, I had so much fun I had fun filming it too, but I had so much fun just doing it. Now, does it, in my head, before this morning, that would always have to have been a TikTok. I can't go out wasting my time to go and snowboard and have fun for a little bit if it's not for work. Are you crazy? That's what my mind was. I think, I know this is crazy to say because it's like, oh, this place in the future. I think... Like, this year should really be looking up. I've got some things in place that should really take what I'm doing here to a different level in terms of brand partnerships, sponsorships, content. And I can start to focus on 
just making the videos I really, really want to make and actually having more fun. And the things that I do for fun will be in this, but it won't be like fancy filming or editing or anything like that. It'll just be cameras on, I'm gonna do this because I find it fun. That's where I want to be. That's where we're going to get to. But like that snowboarding video, I should realize that actually that's not a crazy and viral concept for people to watch and share with their friends, right? Like the jump wasn't that big. Yes, I'm just an idiot who wants to go and do something fun. And, and like that's what I, I wanted to get across as opposed to making something that was going to go viral. But perhaps, unless I just really want to make the video into a TikTok and a whole story out of it, I should just focus on the videos that I know will spark high levels of interest on social media. I'll tell you, all right, so this stuff is all to go upstairs, yes. I'll tell you something else. The, what was it? Oh, on YouTube Shorts. That is trash over there. <laughs> a video popped off last night and got like 5 million views last night. And first of all, if, you, if you're a creator and you make a video that goes viral, the first, when it's, when it's not going viral, you should look at the comments and reply to the comments and do what you can interact with people. But when it goes viral, just, just don't never look at the comments again <laughs> because people are fucking disgusting. This isn't a disgusting comment, but it's a comment that I feel like is worth touching on. The video that popped off, let me pull it up and I'll show you. And it's on my old YouTube account. All right, so gone up 7.1 thousand subscribers last night, 6 million views. Sorry, this was yesterday. 6 million views yesterday. Uh, content, oh, analytics here, sorry. Okay. <laughs> 5.6 6 million views. The retention graph is unbelievable. At the halfway mark, 30 seconds, there's still 80% of people watching. That's, that's unreal. Uh, which, by the way, the YouTube Shorts retention graph and the TikTok retention graph, they're not apples to apples, they're very different. Like for the YouTube one, you can go over 100%, which means people are watching again. up 6K followers, subscribers. But the, one, of the, one of the comments or one of the parts of the video was that, so it was, it was taking mullen, which was to kind of cleanse my lungs. I saw a video about it and I was like, oh, I'll try, I'll try that and see what happens to me. Worked really well. I, I'm not promoting, I'm not promoting that people go and buy it. I'm just like, trying it myself and if I say go and buy it or like you need to have this, that's different. But for me, I'm just trying it and sharing my experience of it. And I'm sorry, but at this day and age, it should be on the viewer to realize that you shouldn't buy or do everything you see online. That's, that's not on me. Like I'm just making videos for the fun of it. I understand there's a responsibility, but I feel like I follow that responsibility. Anyway, Mullen, uh, one of the big pieces to the video was that it caused me to want to hock and spit all the time. And I mentioned that I really didn't want to do that because like being in the gym changing room and hearing guys hocking and spitting is a gross thing to do, which it is. I'm sorry, that is a gross thing to do. But one of the comments was, 
uh, judging other people in the gym, that's exactly why I don't go. I read that comment and I thought, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> that's such a dumb comment. If you're walking around a gym, hocking and spitting, yeah, you're damn right I'm going to judge you for it. If you're overweight and working out, hell no, I'm not going to judge you. In fact, I'm struggling in my own mind. Do I go over and like say, like, good job, like give you a, a what's it called? Uh, like positive, and what the hell am I trying to say? Positive reinforcement? That's what's going through my mind. And I'm just struggling with whether should I do that because I want to be nice or should I do it because I think it's nice and maybe it makes the other person feel one way or the other. And, and if the reason you're not going to the gym is because you don't want people to judge you for hockey and spitting, then that's on you. That's on you. That's, <laughs> that's definitely on you. What else did I make comments on? Oh yes, yeah, sorry. The, the weird question I asked you at the end of last pod vlog. If you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? So I, so my name's obviously Oliver, which <laughs> I don't know why I needed to say that. Uh, I always hated the name Colin growing up. Colin, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't care either way now. But I really like my name. I like Oliver, I like Ollie. And uh, I think I think I liked the names like Jake or something growing up. Something that was kind of, but again, all like, something that was fun. But that's all based off of like the people I knew who were called that, right? Like as my wife and I are considering baby names for the baby that's about to pop any day. So if you don't see a video for a week or so, it's because the baby popped out. Um, but we've been looking through like different names and stuff. And the first thing you do is once you find a name, you decide, have we, do we know anyone with that name? Should we get rid of it? Uh, sorry, should we bin that name and try to choose something else? Like there are so many names that we considered or that a name that we are considering. We look at how close it is to something or a person that we don't really like that much. And if that's the case, we scratch that name. Like... That's for the needle mat, isn't it? One day, by the way, we are gonna, this area in here, it is a disgusting mess, but it's quite a decent space. I think we could do something really cool with it. Um, I'm just not sure what yet. I've had to keep that box of chips or crisps down here because <laughs> Rugi tries to eat them all. Like whenever he goes to the cupboard for some kind of snack, we try and feed him healthy stuff, but he'll always try and pick out crisps or chips or chocolate. <sighs> okay, my, my plan today, Dustin, uh, you'll probably see him in the comments, has offered to, he wants to, you know, make a few edits because uh, we want to do some day in the life videos and we thought this would be a cool thing to do. So we've made a couple already. It's really cool what Dustin's done. And we're going to, I think we're going to talk a bit later to set up a template for the day in the life videos of like, they're just going to be montages. And we both think it would be a really cool idea to do day in the life to show what life is like as a, like let's say 
pod vlogger and a TikTok creator. And it's not necessarily direct advertisement for this, it's more like exposure. So if people you know, like the edits and they may want more, then go check it out. And it's not, it's not that much work and it's a fun thing to do to make like just small edits. I do miss the days of very basic editing of just like cutting to music. But we're also trying to tell a story with these clips. So uh, watch this space. In addition, I would like to, I like the idea, the idea of making edits. Like sometime in the future, maybe near future, I want to make cool little edits to put in this. Just, you know, whenever I, I find that I want to do it. Like, you know, like a 20, 30 second montage of cleaning my room, for example. Can I make that interesting with an edit and some cool shots? Yes, I think I can and I would like to, but that also takes a lot more time and time that I'm not willing to prioritize on that at the moment. Uh, I guess I'll give you an update on the, before I finish this clip and just like clean up the final bits here. The video from yesterday, so the switching out soda with water, sorry, water with soda. I filmed pretty much everything I need and I was planning on posting the video today, but because I put an emphasis on my teeth being gross from like drinking the soda, I could very easily make this into an ad for the Panasonic shaver toothbrush, the multi-shape. And so I'm working with my contact there to see if we can do something there. And then a second, like a part two to this of burning off the calories that I consumed from this. So that would be a pot potentially a Crocs video, Crocs sponsored video. So like I do all those exercises in Crocs or uh, there's a potential brand of, it's like um, like an electrolyte. You put it in water and it gives you the electrolytes and whatnot. It's like a hydration beverage. And I think that would be a really cool part two or a part three of like drinking the water to get myself to a better place. Honestly, I mean, I have to do that video honestly. So that would probably mean that if that goes through, I have to one day in the future drink this amount of soda again to feel like this. And then do this second video of trying to like hydrate myself until I feel better. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to fake it. Can't be faking that kind of stuff. All right, cool. I'm going to finish clearing up. See you shortly. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Job like mostly done. The surface areas need to be sorted, but I can't bother to deal with that. Uh, I'm going to jump on this whiteboard uh, with chat GPT. Let's just do it. I know you probably can't see a massive amount of this. Maybe I'll change the angle slightly. <laughs> uh, Here's what we were thinking, we being Dustin and I. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do these day in the life videos on top of my workload without Dustin's help on this. So, we're thinking of breaking it down into multiple sections. We have the intro, which is gonna be the intro from the actual pod vlog, so that like weird good morning thing that I do. So the intro, and then we move into like starting. I have an idea in my head. I'm just not sure of the words of it. Uh, the starting shots. And then we have the day. And then closing. So the intro is going to just be one shot. For the starting, I think we're looking at uh, I don't know, two to five shots, 
the day, I think it's somewhere between like 10 to 20. That's a lot though, isn't it? And then closing is another two to five shots, if that. The goal of the day in a life video is like, we'll adapt this over time, is to forget this for the second. Goal number one, provide entertainment. Goal number two, get people to realize that these, this day in the life stuff is from a guy who makes TikToks and YouTube videos. I should put this, write this down, shouldn't I? Uh, so entertain. Goal number one, entertain. Goal number two, um, awareness, that's it. So by awareness, I mean letting people know that this comes from other content. Awareness, YouTube and TikTok. And then it is to tell story. A very light story. Uh, nothing like what we do for the TikToks, but each of these serves a different purpose. You have the intro, which is number one, hopefully gonna catch your attention, but also allude to, or like highlight what, a little taste of what to expect in the actual pod vlog if they go to watch it. And then this is the story. So you have starting the day off, I'm thinking clips like, um, Dogs, leashes. I literally don't even know how to spell that. Dogs, leashes. Uh, walking dogs. Um, let's list out the things that I do and then we can choose which ones might be good to show. Yeah. So basically, first thing I do when I get up, aside from toilet, <laughs> no one wants to see that, is I put the dog's leashes on, and then I walk the dogs. Uh, drink water. Um, there's a reason for that, because that sounds like a very plain and boring thing. Um, Pre-workout, driving, gym. I don't really want to film like breakfast stuff because that's family time. It's always, it is of course very, it would be beneficial to share aspects of life outside of this. But uh, I don't want to blur the lines between like me and my family and content. So I don't want to put breakfast down as a option. But then like when I get home from the gym. Oh, pod vlog edit. And then we have breakfast and go into the day. And then obviously the day varies, but I want to get an idea of what type of shots I can get. i tell you what my real problem with this is that I don't know, I don't know what to film. So I film everything and then filming everything takes up so much time. So I'd like to get to a place of just filming the bits that I know to film. So I'll figure out what to go in here. Closing shots, options we have are, let's say closing laptop, pushing in chair, uh, SD card, 
um, exporting, uploading, battery on charge, uh, battery charge. What else? Um, a, I, I kind of want to move back to a daily planner. Maybe doing the daily planner. What else is there? What do I what do I finish my day with? I normally All right, so let's so say I'm done with my work. Yeah, I do all I guess on all those all of these. It's really just copying over the footage. Do I want to clean up my desk at the end? Clean desk. I would really like for the final shot to always be something that people look forward to. I don't know what that is yet. Let's say, um, final shot. Don't know what to go in there yet. Dust and I were talking that I think the videos that seem to do really well, like day in the life videos that do really well, they're normally pretty much the same every day, like being a creature of habit. Like I do all these things every day. I do those things pretty much every day. Should do that every day. Uh, it's the, the middle bit that changes. I think if, if we keep the intro pretty much the same, so this, it's the same type of shot every day. If we keep this as the same type of shot every day and this is the same type of shot every day with a dedicated final shot every day, then this is the bit where people look forward to and see what happens. And you have very basic but a progressive story of how the day starts you get the work done and then you finish off the day close it out my next task is to look through i think just get some audio i don't i thought earlier that i wanted to go and look at other people's styles but i don't think i want to do that i think i want to i want to just look at what type of audio i want to use yeah, so I'm going to scroll TikTok for a little bit, see what we can get. Yes. Sorry, scrolling TikTok does not mean just scrolling. It's like searching for day in the life, uh, seeing what does well, like starting shots, what does well, any kind of like titles or captions that should go on it to put over the top of here. Um, the other thing that Dustin and I discussed was To begin this off, should we just get clips from the actual pod vlog and to put them into here? I like, I like how much it does and it doesn't make it easier because then I still have to like cut out sections from the pod vlog. But filming it like from an iPhone, so if iPhone's actually just, I just turned it off, but it was recording a few seconds and I like that this camera is in there because it will make the, well, hopefully make the viewer question like, why is he got another camera filming? Like, what's this all about? What is going on? And they may want to find out more if they're curious. It's like this stuff isn't, 
this isn't going to end with go follow the pod vlogs or go watch the pod vlogs. This is if people enjoy this, then they can go and watch the pod vlogs. But I think the whole goal of this should be, should not be, sorry, it should align with the style of the pod vlogs. Like more chilled, like it doesn't have to be fast paced, no transitions, no fancy cuts, just, I would like someone to see this, have some kind of desire to find out more and then they come to the pod vlogs and like, oh cool, I like this chilled out style of video versus them seeing this and it be a, like super upbeat and then come to the pod vlogs and it's slow like this. And now they're thinking, oh, what the bloody hell? And then the watch time on the video just plummets. Yeah, that's no bueno. I'm going to be searching TikTok now. Cheers. <laughs> Dude, you know those jobs that are something really easy to do? Sorry, you know those jobs that are something really easy to do? So you're like, okay, I'll just get this done quickly. I'm trying to get it done after lunch as I'm heading downstairs. I spent three and a half hours of my day on the phone because of a leak we have from the new dishwasher that arrived the other day. And it's been freezing cold this morning. I think I got a video of the temperature. It was, sorry, temperature this morning. Where is it? I guess I didn't film it, but my hair froze on the way back from the gym to the car. So that was great. Um, yeah, if I'd have known that this thing with the dishwasher was going to take that long, I never would have would have done it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's obviously taken up most of the day. I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit of work on Friday. I think I'm, there are two things I really, I guess, need to do, but one of them that I need to do, I want to create a chat GPT that critiques my hook and my script because at the moment I make my script on my own and that's that. I have no idea, like I might think it's really good Someone else might look at it and say, yeah, I don't understand what's going on or this is trash. So I want to make a, a yeah, an, basically an AI, uh, what do you call them, assistant, to check through my script for me. So I've got to figure out how to, how do I want to train them up? I don't know if I'll, I'll get the scripts from my best videos. Yeah, I think I'll get those and then feed that in so it has that to go off. Um, yeah, it'd be cool to make it as a GPT that other people can use. So you load in your own scripts that have done really well. So I'll work on that. I need to get better. I need to get way better at, it's not even way better. It's just such a simple thing to do. Adapting my script to the fifth grade reading level. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before. I love the I, w I was forcing myself to, for a while, get, excuse me, back into this idea of, excuse me, getting one random word a day and researching 10 synonyms for it, just to like read through them, try and expand my vocabulary. But then as I start making content, it's actually better not to have a wide range of vocabulary. And one thing I've learned over time is that I've opted not to use. You may actually notice it in these videos. I might use a word that I think is a little bit more obscure, obscure, different, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and then I, I'll follow it up with like a 
synonym for it or explaining what that word means. Because there's nothing, honestly, there's, let's not be over dramatic here, Oliver. When you're in a conversation with someone and they use a word that you are like, that's a complicated word not that not many people would know. They use that in the sentence, expecting you to know it. And if you don't know it, they kind of feel like they've won up to you. And you feel like an absolute dumbass as you're like fumbling around to try and put context around the word they've used to get an idea of what it means. Or like, how do you then change the angle of the conversation so you don't have to know what that word means? Yeah, I've, I've been trying to do that for the last nine, 10 years, last decade. And it's good. Um, and like, who cares if you sound like a dummy? And then I want to make a chat GPT for ideas. So like feed in the concepts that I have. I, I think I would need to actually, this is really good. I should feed in my scripts into chat GPT and get it to create a persona out of that for who I am. Oh, that's interesting. I might do that for the pod blogs as well, because those are obviously more real. Oh, that's a good idea. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop because I'm going to go and try and fix this. So if this house is flooded and there's no pod blog, it's Friday for me, Monday for you, then you'll know why. Oh, before we leave, uh, my question for you. If you could live in any time period, past, future, for a week, when and where would you choose to live? That's flipping ridiculous. Okay, this is one I've, I've asked Shay before. Hmm. I was thinking about, this one's actually super basic. Why am I taking so long? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you could possess any superpower, but it's a really weak superpower, by that I mean like, uh, if you Spider-Man sling, but the sling only goes like five feet, or if you are Superman, but you can only fly like this far off the ground, or you can only fly for like five seconds at a time. <laughs> yeah, pick a superpower, but it's just super weak. What would you choose? <laughs> I have no idea what I would choose, so I'm gonna be thinking about that. All right. Uh, it's Monday for you, so hope you had a good weekend. All right, later.